people. Yesterday was a big day for us. We went on a road trip and we went to one of our, our nursery suppliers that supplies us with seedlings. And we went and got 2,000 tomatoes. We got our habaneros, uh, habanero seedlings, tomato seedlings. And that's all going to start going in the ground today. So, yeah, it's happy planting, happy time. Sun is out. We're ready to plant. We actually have started a bit late today. We should have been planting already. We have planted a little bit, but uh, we decided to take a break and just, just show you guys footage of our seedlings and, and of, the, of the seedling trays. You can see these seedlings are block seedlings. What happens to these is your seedlings get planted in the tray. Um, when you order from a nursery like this, you basically order six weeks six weeks in advance and then they plant your seedlings. It gets done in a greenhouse, in a hothouse and six weeks later you get a call and it's ready for you to collect. Um, this is what our seedlings look like. So when you pull it out the actual tray, you have to be very careful. You portion, as I say, it's, parked in, it's planted in the block and you just pull out the block very, very gently. Use two hands so you can get the soil out, break the soil over there and then you can track your block out and you plant that straight into the ground. So yeah, we've got our tomato seedlings going and we've got chili seedlings and that will be going into the ground today and we'll keep you posted as the day progresses. Okay, all right. How's it people? How are we this morning? How are we today? We've got 2,000 tomato seedlings we're putting in. You can see nice tomato seedlings. We've been busy the whole, the whole day already. We haven't taken a lot of footage but we'll take the first footage now nice healthy young seedlings as i say my seedlings i always order six to eight weeks in advance from the big nurseries and they plant them for me and then i collect them eight weeks in down the line and uh, they're, they're strong and healthy and ready to go in okay our preparation before before we start putting in the seedlings what we've done i've shown you this from uh, from previous videos but what i've done um is i've got a grid system on my greenhouse over here so there is metal 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 okay, come zoom in for me metal metal that is gridded and then the, we also use tomato planks here and then uh, uh, pallets uh, pallet wood here and then we still trusting on the inside so what happens is we actually plant the tomato on the inside of this first we start by digging the hole as you can see all our all our drums um, we, we've had one guy this morning come past here and scuffle all these drums out and loosen up the soil so they're all ready to plant. Um, you can see they, they're nice and ready to plant. So what we've done, the first thing we do is we open up a hole. After we've opened up a hole, we, now, now we want to plant in accordance to where we've got our grids. So we don't want to put a stick down and then let it grow and tie it with string, tie it with string, tie it with string. Yeah, you've got your grid and all you're going to do is flip it over, 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 flip it over. And this will get to seedling height. Um, from, from this little seedling, we, we break it up nicely and you will see that within three months, not even three months, eight weeks, this has hit, this has hit seedling height. So once you've opened your hole, first thing you want to do is you want to wet your hole. So the water is already, the roots have already got, even though they're in good fertile soil there, you wet your hole and once, you, once, once you've opened your hole, put a bit of soil into it so that, that this soil is already moist and easy for your, for your roots to grow into. So you start putting in your soil into this, then you take a little seedling and push it down nicely. Nice, nice and tight. Always compress so that those little roots have now got grip into that new soil. Once you've compressed it like that, then you can put some dry soil into around it just to fasten it up a bit. And very important with your tomatoes, never water tomato leaves. Your uh, tomato leaves do not like water. Unless it's rainwater, they do not like water. So what we do is we water the soil. Uh, a lot of people take a hose pipe and just splash their tomatoes. That is the complete different kind, the complete 
different thing that, uh, that tomato needs. Tomato needs nice water around it and let it grow upwards. Now you can see as this, as this little fella is going to grow, he's going to grow within the grid. Easy to plant him here, easy to grid him here, easy to grid him, easy to flip him over. And as he grows, he's going to flip, flip, flip. And that's going to enchant their growth to take them all, all the way to the top. Now I'll show you on another one here. So what we do again, guys, we open, we open the hole. Once your hole's been opened, put your first water in. Um, let me get more water. Put your first water into it. Once first water is in, get sand into it, loosen it up, try and make it as muddy as possible. So when the, when the new reeds are taking, this is what they've got to grow in. It's easy for them to penetrate to penetrate into this and to spread into that. Okay, put a bit more soil into it. Take your seedling, take him apart, and in he goes. Just keep planting, just keep planting. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Just keep planting, just keep planting. Compress, compress, compress around him as tight as possible. Always make sure the tighter they compress, the easier they can catch growth. And then what we do, always even try pour the water into your hand so it doesn't splash, rinse your hand off, but the water must go around the seed, around the plant like that. And he's a happy chappy. And we, we will keep you posted and we will show you the footage of these tomatoes as they grow weekly. Every two weeks you'll see what happens with these plants as they grow, what they look like, and how this gridding system actually works. So again, this is an, an, an effective way of farming, um, a cheap way. Firstly, you've got, you've got it in your drums, like I've explained to you, um, or, your, or, or any kind of pot that you want. You can build out a brick, but you're protecting the roots against any kind of flooding there. You're protecting it against any, any kind of uh, uh, black frost or anything that's not going to travel into the drum. If you want to do tomatoes, guys, rather get yourself a little section and do your tom to tomato harvest properly, your tomato crop, and get good results. Instead of trying, planting on the ground, frost comes, hail comes, floods come, you lose your stuff. Even this, you can see, by planting in the drums over here, we've retained water. You can, you can see the retainability of the water here. The water is retained here. If this was out on soil, it's already spread through all the dry lands. So plant in your drums, plant in your flower beds. Most important thing I can advise any small holder who wants to plant, and I've done this thousands of times, the most important thing is a flower bed. Start with your flower beds, whether it be drums, whether it be tires, or whatever you can, even bags. But plant, don't plant directly on ground on a small holding. Secure your sections and plant properly in your section. Here we go. I see the light inside you, brighter than the skies. Hold on, just let us escape and fly away tonight. As you guys can see, all our tomato plants have started flowering. Notice how we have guided and flipped our tomatoes up as they have been growing for added support and guidance. Very soon we can look forward to harvesting some beautiful red tomatoes. 
Okay, guys, at four weeks on our tomatoes, we've got this organic base. It's from Protec. It's an organic base uh, um, compost. It comes from chicken, uh, chicken droppings and guano droppings. So good in phosphate and uh, good to just feed the soil a little bit at four weeks just to boost it a bit. And it's made from Protec. Guys, yeah, four weeks old, you can see how beautiful it's flowering over here. Um, what, we, what we're doing, as I taught you with the grid system, look how beautiful. We just flip it over and flip it over, let it grid itself to, to come upwards. Look at the growth that it's getting from the flipping over. So what we do with these, with these pellets, you take 25 grams, which is about that handful. Um, try not to get it onto your leaves. Um, just go around on the soil, on the base, on the soil, and just put it one handful like that, just on the soil of the plant. Again, just on the soil, at four weeks old, just one little handful, and onto the soil. Don't get on the leaves, don't get it onto the plants. And you can see for four weeks, our growth is, is, is the vine. You can see it's flowering beautifully, so we're on a good track. This is shortly going to give us the money. Thanks, guys. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks, guys. Can get away with it. No, cause I'm feeling so free.